I mean, it, it was a dream come true. You know, I come to this first as an incredible fan of the original. I can still remember as a kid going to see it in the theaters with my grandfather and walking out of it feeling like I'd been to this incredible party. And then to, you know, Axel Foley's a national treasure, right? He's like Mount Rushmore. So your first assignment as a writer is to kind of to be a good steward of this incredible franchise and, and, and to do no harm. So, you know, that's part of it is wanting to respect the fans and, and respect the people who have gone before. Axel Foley also exists in his own reality, right? And, and, and uh, you know, it's not training day. It's a, it's a different tone. It's a different, it, it's a, um, you want it to feel, it wants to be light on its feet and exuberant. So we tried to deliver that. As a writer, you don't have to write jokes for him. He's handling all that. In fact, that was what he said early on was like, just write me a cop movie and I'll do the rest. And he absolutely did. I mean, I think that Axel is the quintessential American underdog, right? Like, and, and, um, and that's why people have gravitated to him all these years. So, yeah, I mean, I think, and, you know, we, we preserve that. This isn't a, you know, this is a love letter to the fans.